Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, we're going to be checking out the buffed up version of Bishop, and this man got some really, really cool synergy upgrades. So now for every one of these energy synergies you have, you start the fight with two prowess and a full bar of power. So if you got one of these, it's one bar of power, two of them, and they do stack, you start off immediately at special two, and if you got three of them, it's immediately into the special three. But I think just looking at the abilities, like the special two is the best place to start uh so yeah i'll show you how this works in the fight man but honestly it opens up like a new avenue when it does come to bishop and his gameplay and uses uh because yeah i think this is really really cheesy for like bursting stuff down man uh so we've got six star rank two here we've got team synergy as well we've got a bit of professor x plus two of the energy conduit team synergies uh actually i do need to block here just to remove the bleed or else my prowess decays and also now he doesn't have the damage overload he just has prowess decay because you'll remember, if you played Bishop previously, if you got, like, above 30 prowess, he'd start, like, um, exploding his own hit points. <laughs> but that was great against Moon Knight. And then if you start with two bars of power, uh, yeah, you also get an incinerate on the opponent as well. The special two, like, naturally incinerates. Um, so, yeah, Bishop is a bit of a cheese machine now. You know, we've been saying for such a long time, you know, when are the mutant class getting buffed, man? There are no good mutant characters. And finally, they uh, they buffed a mutant character. So I'm incredibly glad to see another <laughs> seemingly overpowered mutant, man. But Bishop, you know, he's been on the sidelines for a while. I think this, this man deserves the buff. However, I think here, because you also get the, um... Uh, what is it? The Bishop ability, which carries over, um your power from fight to fight so we've got way too much power gain here so we instantly go to special three but again we don't want to fire it off until we actually have uh, a good amount of prowess there so let's uh let's chuck that off man but that yeah that moon knight <laughs> match was a little bit nuts i don't I'm, I'm pretty sure i don't have like a a mutant power booster on so yeah we gained like a crazy amount of power back there but uh, I think because we start with two bars of power, we still got like the incinerate, uh, which dealt like crazy amounts of damage from the awakened abilities. And that was still a really, really good takedown on Guillotine there. Uh, but yeah, that was that was pretty damn nuts, man. That's working out uh, working out very nicely so far, I must admit. And you can see I actually don't have a mutant power boost active. So yeah, this is all stuff from either the base of Bishop or his um, uh, synergies there, which is crazy, man. And here, I think we're going to have a bit too much power that we just start very close to special three. But I think we'll go here. Again, ideally, you want, um, what is it, like 30 prowess before using a special? But it seems in these matches that aren't skill characters, it's actually much easier to generate the prowess off parries as well. So yeah, dude, this bishop buff is it's feeling good so far. I think we need to uh, try and take him against some of the, the more chunky opponents in uh, Realm of Legends. And also now he's got stacking regeneration on the, um, uh, what is it, dash back there. But those specials, man, with Suicide Masteries are hitting hard. So now that we've had a little bit of a warm-up, I thought we'd dive into a bit of Realm of Legends here, man. So again, we need lots of parries against Winter Soldier. But I think if there's a fight to see some big yellow numbers, this would be the one here. Uh, so yeah, let's see if we can get that parry. Also, I do need to, um, need to, what is it, just remove that bleed initially. Alright, let's go for a double medium here. Hopefully straight into a parry. Perfect. And then one more if we can. Cool. And then we can pause that at 38. Okay, very, very nice, dude. So we've got some massive damage off that. Plus the incinerate is dealing like 4.2k per tick. It's like 8,000 damage per second, dude. That is really, really good. Uh, so yeah, uh, one of those, dude, we took him down to like near, near 50%. If we had like all three, uh, hits on that crit, be a great time. Right, come on, fella, let's get the parry. There we go, 47, this has got to be it. Triple crit, no crits, absolutely robbed there. But yeah, you can get that up like crazy, dude, that's mad. And also, you're going to try and, uh, I think, parry those uh, special one projectiles as well. Okay, I think, like, moving into friggin' Assassin's range? 
Uh, yeah, that man got toasted. He got absolutely toasted. That was 40 hits there. Again, Bishop, like, he's a little bit slower time-wise in terms of his play style. It's pretty damn impressive, man. Six-star rank two with Suicide Masteries. He offsets Suicide Masteries um, uh, quite nicely as well. Uh, yeah, this <laughs> this guy is feeling good, man. Okay, right. Um, we need uh, need to get rid of that bleed. And then we need uh, some prowess. We need prowess for days, boys. That's what we're looking for here. To be fair, we actually don't need to attack into Captain Marvel. It's a little bit easier if you attack in to uh, get parrying opportunities. But I think let's go for this. I think she's going to be stunned long enough that we can just, like, ram back in. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens here. And also, yeah, an energy vulnerability debuff on Captain Marvel. So she's going to take a little bit more for 20 seconds. So if we can quickly build up to a, another special two and combo that in, that would be great. But yeah, I think, like, once you get past that first fight, like, maybe having the power start synergies, like, isn't the best thing. Because ideally, you do want to start with a special two, I would imagine, and not a special three. Because the special two, you know, you've got the, the chance for it to crit, which is awesome. And uh, a bit more damage as well. Oh, my parry failed there. I read quite a few comments on the Diablo video, and I've had this, like, a couple of times recording already. Where, like, I go for a parry, and I swear, dude, I swear my timing is not off. But then it just it just doesn't succeed. And uh, I saw a few people saying they were having that as well. So if you've been having that problem since the patch, let me know. I could just be bad at this mobile video game. Um, but it could be broken, you know? We're not going to rule it out. We're not going to instantly uh, assume that everything's working as intended. Because on patch day, let's be honest, lads, really is. <laughs> but let's go for the special one. And even without class advantage, man, that was still a pretty good time. Captain Marvel went down in... Um, a good pace there, but uh, yeah, he really does gain the additional advantage against skill champions, but also he doesn't feel anywhere near as bad to play against non-skill champions now, which I think is like a big pro, because previously against non-skill champions, it was just really hard to build up the prowess, whereas now it is uh, is not. Right, I can't really hit Juggernaut here. Oh no! Right, I don't know if that was me. <laughs> That's probably me. Oh, no, we're at the special three. Okay, right. Let's go in. Smash this man down. Just need, like, one more parry. Perfect. Go for this. Yeah, that really wasn't the best start to the Juggernaut matchup, eh? Oh, it is what it is, though, boys. Yeah, I'm, I'm finding parries, like, a little bit off since this update. Or maybe I'm a little bit off. I hope it's I hope it's the game and not me. Well, <laughs> I guess in the bigger spectrum of things, it would be easier if it was me. Unfortunately, uh, Bishop lacks the uh, ability to counter Juggernaut's Unstoppable, so we don't have that going for us. But let's, you know, let's make those specials count. Yes, bro. That was a big one. Nice, man. We're chilling. I swear I got that parry then. Right, we've just got to be extra, extra aggressive on those parries, man. Pause that at 37. Come on, big crits. We didn't get the big crits, boys. My day's ruined. Such a sad time. Yeah, there's also, there's so much damage variance on Bishop that um, comes from whether or not that special two crits or not. Oh, dude, I swear I got that parry. If it does crit, it is, uh, it's a great time. Those skill champions, he's going to be absolutely murking it. He's got a really cool uh, ability that's kind of like Storm Pyramid X's, where if a uh, opponent shrugs off a stun debuff, it replaces it with a passive. So that's uh, really, really nice in the right matchup. Alright, let's chuck this off. And this should be enough here, I think. Might be, like, a bit too much. If he actually kills with the special 2 itself, 
then it doesn't like drain the power till after so you still keep it for the next fight um which in some ways is good in some ways annoying um i'm not too sure if i like it yet or not because it means like uh for the next fight if you've got the the synergies uh which allow you to start with like multiple bars of power it's like a little bit too much power Right, there we go. Magical start here. Rhino's decided. I, I swear I got the parry there, dude. Okay, I didn't get the parry there. That was just me being an idiot. Oh, please don't stun me at the end. <laughs> uh, I, I'm pretty sure I got the parry there as well, dude. Okay, I got robbed on that, man. Yeah, I, I feel like something is up with the parry since the latest update, man. Which, especially when it comes to Bishop's case, like, makes him even more difficult to play. I I'm pretty sure it's, like, not just me. But it could be just me. But, yeah, let, let me know if you're having problems. I'm playing on my, like, iPhone, um... What was it? 8? <laughs> iPhone 8. I think that's the one I'm playing on at the moment, yeah. Oh, actually, I think it's my iPhone 10 X. S Max or something. <laughs> I forgot all the these grand marketing names for the iPhones, man. Right, let's chuck this off. Maybe we should have gone for one more parry there. Hey, that's some pretty nice damage though. Yeah, when you like when you nail those parries, dude, and you kinda get into a good loop with Bishop, the damage is phenomenal. Some really, really nice potential. So, and I know there was like a bit of love for Bishop before, so I think that the people that enjoyed playing Bishop before are really, really going to enjoy this man now. But the big question is like, there are so many insane mutant characters that like, where does he fall in the rankings now? So I'm very curious to like test him out a little bit more this month and see um, uh, what we can like find out about Bishop and where he's going to be used for as well, because, you know, mutant class is by far the most powerful class in the game. It's so competitive for those rank-up materials. And I think Bishop's really, really good, but I, I'm not too sure he's at that level of, like, Apocalypse and Professor X, uh, which I didn't really expect him to be anywhere close to, but he's actually better than I expected, I must admit. So I'm thinking, like, from my initial... Um, Look today, it's it's got to be somewhere between like high demigod and maybe uh, maybe god tier on the tier list. Maybe even if there are like some additional crazy uses for this character, maybe even um, solid god tier. But I I'm curious, you know, as to what people are going to use him for. It's, yeah, solid god tier. I don't know if that's overshooting it a little bit, but I'm curious to see what like people think after testing out Bishop. My testing's been a little bit interrupted by parry, and apparently myself being a little bit inconsistent today. Right, we smash the parry there. Right, nice. You need to get into a habit as well playing Bishop, and this is something I um apparently suck at, which is, uh, <laughs> was it? Parrying special attacks, man. Parrying special attacks is really, really important. Look at that. That's pretty good, though. It's a really nice, uh, special attack. But yeah, if you can parry special attacks at the right time, you can generate so much more prowess. So it just makes him, like, faster and uh, a bit easier to play. Let's go for this. So you've got the parry on that one, dude. That's ten prowess out of the gate there. Magical. Yeah, and I, I just have like that <laughs> that natural thing to like dash back against certain special attacks, man. But there we go. Storm is straight in the bin. Again, that certainly wasn't like the best gameplay toward the end. A few mistakes. And again, I'm, I'm pretty convinced there's something in today's update that's messed up parry. Um, but again, in the right matchup, dude, Bishop pops off. He's really, really cool. And I think the... Um, 
Uh, the new synergies, especially combined with his ability to uh, bring power from one fight to another, uh, are going to give him like all sorts of fun uses, potentially when it comes to uh, some like farming content or mid-range content, because we do see like some side events of health pools between, uh, you know, like 100,000 to 200,000, and if there is like a certain team that stacks him up, we can just like one-shot every single fight with like a special two, special three. Uh, again, might be really, really useful in the right scenario, but I'm not too sure. Uh, I think he's definitely got some potential moving forward, and I think, um, uh, you know, the base of this character is just so much better. The synergies are, like, nice to have, but, like, not really needed. So even without them, he's got a lot of really good stuff going on. Uh, so, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts on the buffed-up version of Bishop. And if you did enjoy today's gameplay, please do smash that like button. That would be greatly appreciate it. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.